Charm, welcome back to the channel. Here I am to announce my weigh in results for the two week mark of being on the keto diet. And guys, I have lost six pounds. I am so excited about that. I'm definitely gonna be staying. Somebody else is excited about that too, apparently. Anyways, I will definitely be sticking to this keto challenge, this 30 day keto challenge, and keeping you updated. Last week I shared what I usually eat in a day on the keto diet and this week I'd like to give you three little points of motivation for anybody who is on a diet right now or starting a diet soon. The first little thing that helps me to be motivated about dieting is breaking it down in little pieces. If you say, I have 30 pounds to lose and it's gonna take me two years to get it off. I'm never gonna see cake again. You know, that kind of a thing. It's not gonna go well for you, more than likely, um, unless you're just very different than me, which is possible. But for me, this time obviously, I set a time limit, and I also set a small manageable weight limit. So 10 pounds in 30 days on the keto diet. It sounds pretty good. So if, on the other hand, I said three months on the keto diet to get 30 pounds off, that would be kind of discouraging. You have to start in little bitty pieces. Thing two is to do it for somebody besides yourself. For me, I'm doing it for my family and I've also reached out just a little bit in doing these vlogs about it with you guys because I'm sure someplace, somewhere out there is another mommy who has a mommy gut who's doing her best to get it off and wants to know how to do it in the most effective way possible. So I'm doing it for my family and for me and for you as well. So being the best that you can be is not a selfish thing and it is a goal that is very honorable, I think, in my opinion. So make sure that you have in your head that it's not just for me, this doesn't affect just me and that that's what motivates me to keep going. The third thing, is really a question that I asked myself right before I began this diet, because I'd kind of yo-yo dieted before this. Um, I got tired of dieting. I had dieted for probably nine months after having Hope, and I was tired of it. I got all the weight off from her, but I still had a little bit more to go from Haven. I wasn't able to lose a blessed thing with Haven. Um, thank the Lord I figured out how to lose after Hope's pregnancy, it was a completely different way than conventional weight loss, and I'll share that with you in another video sometime. If you'll comment down below, let me know that you want to see it. Um, but I still had a little bit left to go, and I had zero motivation to do it. I'd be like, well, maybe I'll start this week, and then I'd see a brownie. I'd be like, no, maybe next week. And it just kind of went back and forth like that, and I never really got anywhere. I just maintained. It was an 80-20 ratio basically 20% of the time having snacks or french fries or something that you're not supposed to and 80% of the time having salad and sticking to the diet. That doesn't work. At least for me, it doesn't work. So I was like, what does cheating on my diet say about me? And I think the answer to that is, you know, really it's almost like looking face to frosting with a cupcake that's tempting you and be like, you are not stronger than me. I mean, really, to answer that question, you have to be like, am I stronger than this cookie or this potato chip or this cupcake? It takes between three and seven days, if I'm remembering my facts right, to get into ketosis. And ketosis officially is the place in time when your body stops burning the carbohydrates that you had stored up inside you and begins burning the fat that is also stored up inside you. And when that happens, you are officially in ketosis. Now, any grain of sugar or any infinitesimal little tiny bit of carbohydrate that you may eat can throw you out of ketosis. And that completely defeats the purpose of getting into it in the first place, in my humble opinion. So that is why I don't cheat. That is another thing that really keeps me accountable. Um, there's no slipping up on this one. You're either in ketosis or you're not in ketosis. You're either dieting to stay in ketosis or you're not. So 
that's very straightforward and easy. I hope you guys are enjoying this little mini series that I'm doing on the ketogenic diet. Um, if you are, please give me a thumbs up down below. And if you have anything that motivates you for anything in life, be it dieting or working out or anything similar to that, um, please leave it in the comments for me and for other mamas who are out there um, beginning a weight loss or health and fitness type journey. Also, if you happen to be the mommy who is just starting her health and fitness or weight loss journey, um, please comment below if you have any questions about the keto diet or my two journeys of getting back to myself after baby, then I would love to hear from you and answer your questions.